Now on to pointless purchases for new parents and at the top of the list is reins with many mums and dads saying they've tried them and ditched them because they just don't work. In fact some parents have said it's cruel to put your child in reins and is the same as treating them like an animal and according to our exclusive Loose Women poll one in ten of you agree. Um, I have to say I thought oh this is quite a good idea. I can walk with her, uh, you know, and she wasn't overly sturdy at that stage. And I actually bought them simply because it was a cute little rucksack thing. It's not like the old fashioned reins. It's a little rucksack in the shape of a bee or a unicorn or whatever, and the reins come out of it. So it all was quite nicely packaged. And I thought, oh, that's sweet. And I put it on her for 30 seconds and she wasn't having it. And like many parents, I'm guessing, it's been put into a drawer never to be used again. Um, but I never thought about a cruel aspect of it at all. I was thinking that from a safety perspective, I thought she's not going to run away. I've got her beside me. But obviously, well, why that's would just you think of the... a cruel aspect? There's nothing cruel, I don't think, about not wanting your child to run out into the road. Mm. Well, this is it. But for, for some, some parents, certainly, they do think you should let them roam free. It, 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 you're mm. sort of hemming them in. You're literally reining them I mean, back. I was uh, maybe in a park, but yeah. I was driving home the other day and had to slam my brakes on because there was a, a small child that was literally looked like she was about to dart out mm. in front of me, who was probably, you know, like 20, 21 months old, mm. something like that. So, I mean, I, I, I didn't use them and I don't really know why I didn't use them, um, but I have nothing against them at all. I think they have a purpose. And if you have a very active toddler, and particularly maybe if you've got another child yes, as well, exactly. surely it's better to err on the side of safety. And of course, you've got the other element here. So quite a few people have emailed in about this. But Katie says, my son has additional needs and no danger awareness. Yeah. And it would have been very, you know, very dangerous to take him out without them when he was younger. Yeah. Prevention is definitely better than cure, I think, with this. And I am guilty of having not reins, but is I have... Is Jamal like still a... on his reins? <laughs> <laughs> They're both still on their reins. Don't worry about that. You know, I asked... But the thing, I had one of those bracelets that, um, you know... Oh, yeah, it was with mostly, the... Yeah, it was yeah. mostly when I went to the supermarket because, you know, you've got your, your push chair with, with one child in, you've got the other child that's toddling, and then... And, yeah, there yeah, they are. Well... <laughs> They're Minus those... the fur. I don't know what... <laughs> 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 yeah, they look a bit... But, but I used to put that on them. And, you know, if you're reaching up to the shop shelf in a supermarket and your child wants to run away, you... The floor goes... You know, you don't know what you're doing. And so it's just nice to have it elasticated. You can just pull them gently back. There's no yanking going on. But at least you know where your child is and you have that peace of mind and, and, and that sense of security for them. And, as you say, if you've got a child that's hyperactive and likes running out into the rows, what are you going to do? Pick that child up afterwards and say, oh, there, there, I should have maybe got yeah. a rain. It's just too late. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Carol, what do you think? I think they're... I think... Yeah, I think they're a great idea, actually, because sometimes you go around the supermarket and you think there's a hell of a lot of kids in here who should be on reins. In fact, <laughs> probably should be, you know, not even in the supermarket or in restaurants them by as the well, door, <laughs> dangling well, like yeah, that exactly. and leave them there. <laughs> <laughs> Have little slots outside, like, wait there, lock them in. Um, I'm joking, obviously. But, you know, people get very sensitive about this sort of stuff, don't they? Because everybody wants their kids, they should be allowed to run wild. And and in a way, my mum did let us not run wild. We, we were very, very well behaved and we would never defy her because she was a disciplinarian beyond belief. And so we would never have done anything wrong or strayed from her or, or anything like that. But when it came to playing, she would just let us go off and we'd be gone ages and she'd never worry or think about where we were. Now, I think now parents are, are, are more worried about their kids. I don't know if there's more danger for kids or, or not, but you know, when you think about it, the mobile phone is now the new reins, isn't it? There are so many parents that have they give their kids mobile phones so that they can track them. And they're basically, you know, you might as well just put them in reins if you're going to do that.
Mm. I did have an occasion where I went to a department store and there was a child probably about three or four years old, bless, and he, he was running around screaming for his mother because he couldn't find her. That's awful. This department store was massive, absolutely massive. So I think, you know, it helps the parent as well as that child. Mm -hmm. It's like the frustration. I remember that panic as a child, being that child, oh, having sort of dinner where my mum was yeah. and just panic just sticks frantic. with you for Yeah, it. exactly. But you, you, you make a good point, though, Karen, in terms of the film. What do you think about that, Jane? With you, you're, you know, yeah, well, just being I mean, a bit when, older. Um, most kids, I mean, they seem to start asking for a phone from birth these yeah. days. But, you know, I got to about 12 with Grace and one of the deals was, yes, you can have a phone, but you, uh, you have to have the Find My Phone app, I think it's called on it. You know, and when she's 18, they'll, they'll, I'll, I won't require that anymore. But I don't sort of track her. I don't sort of look and think, has she gone to where I, you know, she told me that she was going to go. But what I want is that peace of mind when they do start to leave the house on their own is that if she says she's going to be home by a particular time and she isn't, I want to be able to know where she is. Yeah. Because yeah. I just have that... I think maybe it's living in central London or any big city, I don't know. I just think I want to be able to find her if I can't find her, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, yeah. It makes sense. I, otherwise, I'd be like my mum, who, when I was young, would say, right, home by 11. I remember vividly walking back with a boyfriend one night. It was, must have been all of five past 11 obviously not wearing the clothes I'd left the house in because I'd secreted them in a carrier bag at the back of a wall earlier and got in. But anyway, I saw her with this point and I just went, <laughs> it's my mum! She was wearing in, in, in her um, Morris Minor van, her turquoise Morris Minor. I dived into a hedge, so she went sailing past none the wiser and then, like, <laughs> ran home. And then when she came back, I was like, I've been here for ages. Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> The old-fashioned tracking. I hope you'd admitted to that beforehand, because she will watch this today, obviously, and know all of the Sorry, truth. I know you have the reins for your cats, for I goodness sake. Never mind look, your children. Hey, I want to take them out for a walk. I want to take them out for a walk because they're, they're domestic cats. They don't go outside, and it's nice to give them a bit of exercise and let them smell the You breeze. are Beyonce. <laughs> the children wouldn't allow it. They were like, Mummy, you can't do that. If a dog's allowed to, what's the difference with a cat? Just take it to the park, <laughs> let it just have a little, little run about, look. and then just bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs>